contrary to popular belief, there is no such thing as a fake Aeron. I want to let you know how, if there was one, you could find one. One, a fake Aeron would have a critical point that is not visible for you to see, which is the Herman Miller embossed logo on the back, on the upper middle back of the chair. You will see on every single Herman Miller Aeron, whether it be on the classic or the remastered, so the older version or the newer version, a logo embossed on the middle of the top of the chair. Each and every single Herman Miller Aeron has that logo. Moving forward, let's talk about the economics of a fake Aeron. The reason why there is no fake Aeron out there is because of two primary things. One, there is the legal impracticality of making one. Herman Miller is very, very stringent and aware of their IP and they protect it as they should. Number two, it is extremely expensive to <laughs> produce a chair. And we can tell you that as refurbishers who manufacture parts to fix mini Aerons and any other chair that is out there that is high end, including now actually making our own headrests that complement many of the Herman Miller chairs out there. We understand the cost of molding and production. And to do something like that, just even copying, not even doing it from scratch, copying a Herman Miller Aeron one to one would cost you anywhere in our prediction from half a million to one and a half million dollars just to start. Who wants to invest half a million or a million dollars in molds only to be shut down the next day for trademark, patent, copyright infringement, all these other kinds of potential liabilities that are out there it would be a terrible, terrible investment. That is one of the reasons also why no one would probably dare to do so. This is not even considering the X work costs of per unit chair. So it's a tremendous investment to go down for nothing, only in a very terrible lawsuit. Number three, and the last part, which is the most important, Herman Miller is known for their high qualities and standards for all of their chairs. So that being said, we as refurbishers who have manufactured a lot of replacement parts that have gone bad over time and through use, understand the fact it's extremely difficult to match that standard. So for example, we made a replacement mesh for the Herman Miller Aerons. Usually these are being used for chairs that are outside of their warranty. And it took us seven years of trial and error and production and so much lost investments and resources till we finally achieved a very good quality and standard that we can actually say, yes, this is a good one-to-one -one match that will be able to replace and repair your chair. Imagine doing that for the entire chair. It would be an extremely timely investment that you may not even be able to succeed at. The chances of you finding a knockoff Herman Miller is zero to none. Rest assured, if you find a cheap Aeron somewhere out there, in the markets, it might be just someone selling their personal chair and not knowing what the true value is, or there's a chance it could be a scammer and selling you something that they don't have. The last thing is it could be a damaged Aeron, which you don't know, and they haven't disclosed the damages. So when you do buy a used Aeron out there and it seems like it's too good to be true, I want you to keep in mind that there are a lot of parts that go into a refurbished Aeron that it qualifies and raises that price and that cost that you see typically out there in the market. New critical parts such as cylinders, arm pads, lumbars, mesh if necessary. All of these are important for a quality refurb Aeron. And we want you to know that those come with a warranty. That warranty comes at a cost. So make sure you buy it from someone that's reputable and someone that can honor the warranty maybe even actually knows what they has been done to that chair. So with that being said, be careful out there and good luck.